Oh shit, hold on, let me get the remote. Hold on. Hold on, let me get the remote. Bam. <sighs> anyway. Hey girls, hey. Hey mamas. Good morning. Anyway, it is the 17th. It got to be the 17th. Excuse me, the 18th. And you know what? I can't call it when it comes. When it comes down, it's, I'll be fine and, until it's time to say the date. When it's time to say the date on this thing, I don't know what it is. I get the date fucked up every time. Have you guys noticed that? I know y'all noticed that. Every time she about to fuck the day up. It's going to be a day before, a day behind, something. Every time. Sometime it'll be a whole motherfucking month. I'll be on some, it's December the 13th. Yeah. We on some old St. Patrick's Day shit. You know what I mean? And I'm still talking about some December shit. But either way, y'all know what it is. It's July 18th. 2016 and it is 8:17 in the a.m. Hold on one second. I gotta give me some coffee and this shit's good too. It's good this morning. You understand me? Yeah. Girls. I don't know where to begin with y'all. Real shit. I don't know where the fuck to begin. Um. Wow. Should we... Okay, well, okay, let's start with my children. Okay, let's start with my children. Let's go from there, and then we'll talk about, you know, my dating life. Okay? Let's start with my kids. My kids are good. Um, yesterday, my daughter went to Magic Mountain with um, one of her friends in their church. And Isaiah's done with camps. He, he had three camps this summer. Um, and they start school around the first. So, um, Tioni's birthday is on the 27th. And so, um, my baby will be 17. And it's like, wow. And it's a trip because when I look at it, it's like, wow, I've been in this house for 17 years. I moved in, we moved in this house on July 5th, 1999, and, you know, so it's like, man, when I'm walking around here and looking around here, it's like, damn, but, you know, with the, with the changes and stuff, it needs to be because a lot has changed, okay, so, I had to go with the times, change some, some shit, you know what I'm saying, needed to give me, a, needed to give me a new mattress while you're bullshitting, you know what I'm saying, yeah. You know, it's like once shit, once it was over with, look, look, I bought new sheets, new mattress, whole new motherfucking bed. I gave my bed, that other bed that you guys remember, that bed to my daughter. And I just went and got me all new shit. I'll let you while you're bullshitting. Uh, uh, as far as, um, um, I didn't do like my dishes and stuff like that. Like some folks do like they whole thing. They'll change out a lot of their shit. You know, um, but I didn't do that. I didn't. I didn't change out that stuff. But um, our common things that you know that remnants of that. I have absolutely nothing. I mean, a few things. You know, like pictures and stuff. But Auntie only put up a whole bunch of pictures in the hallway and shit. And um, but for the most part, all up through here is a whole old new get down. I changed out my toilet. I changed out. Uh, uh, my shower, um, but you know, I haven't done this like this week, I know y'all motherfuckers like, wait a minute, she talking about she just did this shit over the weekend, wasn't this motherfucker just at the jazz for last night, um, I'm not talking about last night, I'm just talking about, you know, from the time of my separation on to the time to the final, you know, I was making changes, you know, in, in, in my whole get down, I changed out my kitchen, and 
you know, I just wanted some changes, you know, and I knew that this was going to be my house the rest of my life. My husband gave me this house in 2010, so I've been, I've been theoretically having this since, what, for seven years, just all mine, all, I mean, you say I can have it, I can, I can, like, have this, okay, yeah, thank you, and then, so then that's when I really began to, you know, really put some money into it, but I still got a ways to go, there's still so many things, but I'm just going to take my time and enjoy the process, you know what I mean, I'm not going to stress myself out over some bullshit when it's mine in the first motherfucking place, hell, when I get to it, I get to it, okay, so that's just what that is, but I'm just going to enjoy that process, enjoy, I'm just, in, you know, I want to enjoy this life, um, uh, I just want to enjoy this life and enjoy the stages of my life. Um, it's a trip, man. Girls, y'all just don't know. That's why I'm saying put out good works. Put out good works now. So then, therefore, when you get to be my age, you know, then, therefore, you, be, you begin to benefit from the fruits of your labor. You know, according to the word. And I don't, you know, I, you know a lot of motherfuckers really feel like I... You know, I'm not one to really speak on that, but, you know, I, I, I you know, judge me not, okay? But at any rate, um, according to Luke 10, okay, a laborer is worthy of its hire, meaning you can, you have gone through a whole bunch of shit, and sometimes you are rewarded on the back end. As far as me and all that I am, I was rewarded on the back end. I was in the trenches, baby, okay? I done been in and done that. I got all kind of battle wounds and scars and all kinds of shit. Nigga, I'm tatted up, but I'm a survivor. I'm a conqueror. I made it through all that. And now to get on this end right here, nigga, let me smile about something, okay? Let me let me grin a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Let me let 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 me in, 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 enjoy all this right here that I don't work so hard to get to. You know, I've been fat all my life. That's all I knew. Hell, I never, I've never known. Um, um, well, I don't know. I don't know skinny because I ain't that motherfucker neither. You see how big I am still? If you don't check that, look how big my ass is. I'm still a big fat motherfucker. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, this right here, but even at my heaviest of weight, I never really had none of this. You know what I'm saying? I was never really, I never really had the the really big belly. I never really had that. I had the apron after um, I lost all the weight. It hung. I mean, it was, it, my, my shit hung so to where, you know what I'm saying? You got to dig up under that motherfucker to fuck this pussy. You know what I'm saying? You had to do one of them ones. But, uh, yeah, but, uh, <clears throat> but at any rate. <laughs> oh, wow. Anyway, but after uh, the birth of my son, my little push gift was 10 G's that my husband gave me, uh, and uh, I got a tummy tuck, and that was the best, oh my God, that was the best 10 G's I had ever received in my life, do you understand me? Oh my God, my tummy tuck was 5,000, and then the rest, what did I do with the rest? Me and my mom and them, we all went to go see Tyler Perry play. And what else did I do? I, I bought me some his and her hair. We had went down there at 3030 30 Wilshire Boulevard. Is it 3030? 30 or 3020? 2020. One of them. Anyway, his and her hair on Wilshire Boulevard. Me and my mama, we went up there and I got me some hair and shit. You know, I was feeling myself. I was happy. You know, I had just, I, you know... My baby was almost a year old at that point, and, um, you know, yeah. So, anyway, those are just the story in the days of my life, man. And it's like, <clears throat> you know, to to come from all of that and to get to this point, sometimes I be tripping. I trip my own motherfucking self out. Please understand that and know it, okay? You know what I'm saying? Right now, oh, um... Right now, the we are diffusing a little frankincense, so we got that going in here. Okay, you guys know I love my incense and 
You know, I love that kind of shit. I have incense for days, incense and cones and shit. I be burning up all types of shit. Huh? And so, um, but right now my diffuser, I have a uh, Frank incense, but, um, yeah, man. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm cool. I, I ain't, man, I ain't fucking with nobody. You know what I mean? And I sleep damn good at night. And, and, and it's like, um, you know, I was thinking the other day because, you know, I be getting flat. Motherfuckers be ready to pounce on me. I mean, for the smallest of things. That's why, you know, I can't come on here as, as often as I can, you know, as I do. Because it's like motherfuckers is just ready to just, you know, put me all in some shit, get me twisted up in some shit, come in and say some shit. It's like, nigga, I ain't got time for you. Okay? As soon as I get to read in the comments, well, now my shit is on, what is that? It's alert. So certain words and certain things you say, I ain't gonna even get them on um, motherfucking things no more. I don't even, I don't even, that, that nigga, all that spam. I don't, that goes to junk mail. I, I, automatically, certain words you come out your mouth with, I'm not gonna get them. Let me just go and say that. I'm not gonna get that fucked up comment. I'm just not gonna do it. So I'm happy about that because it's like, damn, the fuck is you mad at me? I'm I'm living, baby. I'm living, and when you get to be my age, and the way and way, the way in which this world is going, shit is happening and popping off almost every motherfucking day. Motherfuckers is is is, is losing their lives in fucking groups. I mean, fifty eleven motherfuckers at one time and shit. I don't know what Father God got going on or what he setting us up for, but he is calling some folks home, ain't he? Oh my God, you better pray. Like, I, I praise over all this shit. I praise over my dogs. I pray over my home, my kids, my every motherfucker that I'm, I'm putting covenant over all this shit in him. Okay? Shit, I am definitely sheltered by the shepherd. I don't give a damn what y'all talking about. Shit, I'm shit. Uh, I got blood on my goddamn dough. Fuck that. It's too much going on around here. It's too much going on around here. I, look. <clears throat> I mean, <laughs> the words, it makes you nervous. You know what I mean? It, it, it makes you nervous to a degree. I'm so glad. I'm so happy that I done made my shit comfortable enough to where whatever the fuck I'm ready to get into, niggas call this right there. Go get it. Okay? Go get that. Handle that. And go on and finish watching motherfucking TV. Okay? Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. To God be the glory. Okay? So, but anyway. So my kids are good. My health is good. Um, my thyroid, you know, I supposed to, you see how like sometimes my voice is a little bit deeper. It's more of my thyroid, you know. It, that that just is what it is. But my mama had her gorder removed at 45. My mama had a hysterectomy and her gorder removed at 45. So, you know, I guess it just is what it is. You know, it's just one of those things that's just whatever. Genetics. I ain't mad at it. You know what I'm saying? I am not mad at it. And at this point in my life, I've lived so, and I'm so, I'm so, I'm so comfortable now with the life that I've lived and the life that I'm living. And it's like, you know, if Father God called me home, you know, I had a good time, you know what I'm saying? I did everything that you said before me, Father. You know what I'm saying? I did the best I could. You know, I've been very cognizant over over the moves that I make. I'm a thinker. I'm a dreamer. You know, I'm a writer. I I I, I contemplate things. I'm not a spur of the moment, sporadic. Fuck it, let's just do this. I'm not one of them. I think all my shit through. And. Uh, you know, so every decision that I make is the best decision at that point in time when I made it. You know what I mean? I thought it through. So with that, and then I'm also I'm always thinking about somebody else's feelings. You know, I gotta I gotta start saying no to shit that I really want to say no to. Sometimes that's one thing I do have to work on because I say yes to some shit that I know I really mean no to, nigga. And that's still some bullshit. Okay. Um. But then sometimes I'd be like, you know, because I'm, I'm not no fool, okay? If you don't think you done got over, baby, you didn't get over, that's just something I just let you get, okay? 
But, uh, you know, I know that we are supposed to be um, of assistance. We're supposed to give of ourselves. And I don't have no problem with that, you know what I'm saying? But just don't be trying to take advantage of a motherfucker because game does recognize game. And I can go from Janet to motherfucking Bonquisha in a real motherfucking quick millimeter of a second. You understand me? I can go from here to right there. I got all kind of personality traits. Please understand it. Now, I'm not schizophrenic. I don't have no... Well, you know, maybe everybody got their own, you know, uh, well, I, I have my own little alter ego. I go in and out of that bitch from time to time. Had to go off on one of the motherfucking Hollywood divas yesterday. Okay, now I'm going to talk about that too in a little bit. I really didn't want to talk about it, but God damn it, that bitch pissed me off yesterday. Her and her whole motherfucking crew, and I had to let her know, look, bitch, look, hey, look, check this out. Me and you got about the same amount of motherfucking money, bitch, don't fuck with me. Okay, it's just the fact that I ain't lost none of none of my shit. Okay, so let's just be clear on that, bitch. Don't you ever, you and your motherfucking friends. Okay, now look, all of us was all in the same motherfucking session, bitch. Don't play. Okay, uh huh. Uh, wait a minute, hold on. Excuse me, bitch. Excuse me. Yeah, I have one too. Like I told your motherfucking ass last night, bitch. Don't do it because he. Okay. Uh, mm. Jesus, <clears throat> I can't even like this motherfucker because that's one thing I would never, I don't, I don't ever want to do on, 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 on my platform as y'all see me blaze up. That's one thing. Nah, I'm not gonna do. But goddamn it, shit, nigga, I'm ready to cut this motherfucker off right now before I say the wrong motherfucking thing. Now, girl, don't fuck with me, okay? Now we all know the circle of the same motherfuckers, but listen, you was wrong. Okay, we all, everybody in that same motherfucking section, but see, bitch, because your motherfucking ass couldn't see, bitch, hey, uh, did nobody tell you to, <clears throat> anyway, that Hollywood diva shit, you, you, yeah, but, uh, a few of us let you know about that last night, calm the fuck down. You know, and I ain't came on this motherfucker and made no, uh, you know, no thing about it all while the show was going on and all that other type shit. I ain't said shit, okay? You know, because and therefore it was not really for me. I allowed all everybody else, Chrisette and everybody else was, you know what I'm saying, was putting it on out there. But it wasn't for me to say. But bitch, yesterday though, <clears throat> I, yeah, I lost me a little weight, didn't I? I lost me a little bit. You didn't know who the fuck I was for a minute. You was like... Yeah, bitch. But then you, but then I guess, I guess once it clicked in your motherfucking head, then, um, well, we can't see. They need to move. Bitch, you better, hey, huh, y'all, that's what happened. Yeah, this bitch was like, her and her little crew, fuck it. Her and her little crew, I'm, I'm just a little brief little synopsis. Her and her little crew was sitting on the grass, right? Now, mind you, we all in the gold section, okay? We got our own little separate entry, exit, out through the back, and all that stuff. You guys will see the video, because I did make a video. I think that bitch is in there, probably. Because we was all in the same little area, whatever, bitch. You looked very pretty, though. I give you that, you looked very, very pretty. But your attitude was stank as a motherfucker. It was good to see you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's been a long time. And I love you, I do. But that right there was some bullshit, the way you was acting yesterday. It was no good, mama. It was no good. And, and your dude and the rest of them dudes, they just got up and just walked out the way. Najee and them just left. So, um, <laughs> but, 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 but then, you know, your, you and your girlfriends, y'all had a problem because everybody was standing over there and shit. Bitch. Um, wasn't nobody, um, clocking for your motherfucking, we was, uh, nigga, we all in the same, we all got the same shit, baby. All of us that was over there, we all, we all in the same motherfucking get down. Uh-huh, okay? So, um, bitch, you, uh, who, who, what? What is going on? For real? Mm. Don't do it, mama. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. I ain't gonna get all into it on how, how you know, all the little this and that, but you know what it is, you was wrong for that, okay, you was wrong for it, and the way them young ladies handled it was cool, but I just went on and backed out, but I had to let you know, look, um, 
Me and you got about the same amount of money, bitch. Don't play. We got the same shit. You know, and I just went on and bowed out and backed out. I didn't even want to go back and forth with you in front of everybody and all that kind of stuff like that. Because I already see what it was. Hell, I was, I, nigga, I was lit too. But all I'm saying is, you got to know how to handle that shit when you out here amongst these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Because these motherfuckers want to take pictures and all that. I got all that shit. I, I saw what you was on. With, you know, hey, we was all doing that. But all I'm saying is, um, bitch... Um, you and your motherfucking crew, y'all bitches was tripping yesterday. You understand? Now, I understand, you know, but see, I didn't drink. Okay? See, I don't drink, family. Now, let's get up off of that. I don't drink. Now, over there in the gold section, it was open bar, so you can just, nigga, floored. Now, actually, it's supposed to have been eight drinks per person. Okay? You can get eight. Now, me, all I got the whole time was Coca-Cola. Every time, I didn't get no wine, I didn't get nothing, I didn't get no champagne, I didn't get nothing, I didn't get no beer, none of that shit. They was having margaritas, all that. I didn't do none of that. All I had was Coca-Cola. But see, first of all, one thing about me is, especially when I'm going out and about and I'm by myself, I need to be able to see you, motherfucker. I need to be able to see what the fuck's going on. And I can't be laid out. I can't be on real, real tough like tilt status. And see, drinking, for me, put me in a motherfucker. I don't know what the fuck. What else? How I get back at the crib last night? See, if I some shit like that, I can't fuck with that. Whereas you going through, whereas blocks of time that you done forgot what the fuck you done done. See, I can't, I can't, mm -mm, I ain't going to be able to do that one. Fuck that. All I remember was I woke up with a dick in my mouth. Nah, see, I ain't going to be able to do that. See, so then therefore, I learned that shit long, long Long, 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 long time ago, okay? When all of us was all in that shit back in, all back up and through there. You know, the early 2000s, it was, man, it was a lot going on in them streets down there, okay? All the motherfuckers down there, all, man, look, woo.